In this quick tip, I'd like to show you how to add a textured paper background in an image in On One Photo. Now this technique is going to work best on an image with either a white background or a very light colored background. This image has a slightly off-white background from an effect that I created in On One Effects. So I'm in On One Layers right now, and this document only has one layer, but if you have a document that has more than one layer, you're going to want to make sure that you have the top layer selected. Then I'm going to go over to the My Extras folder. Now right now I have my image kind of a full screen mode, so I want to be able to see that panel on the left. You can get to that panel in one of two ways. You can either click on these little arrows on the very bottom left, and that will toggle those extras, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, Command or Control, and the left arrow key. Now at the top, make sure that you have that Extras section open. Double click on On One Extras, and then double click on Textures, and let's go into that paper folder. Now I'm just going to choose the paper that I want to add to this image. And I think I'm going to go with this old parchment file. So I'll go ahead and double click that, and then a window pops up asking me what I want to do with this photo. So I obviously want to add it as a layer into this document. So I'll make sure that that add as a layer is selected, and then click OK. Now I need to resize this layer so that it fits inside the entire canvas. And there's a really quick way to do that. First, I'm going to activate the Transform tool. I'll go ahead and press V to do that. Then at the very top, I'm going to click on the Fill Canvas button. And that automatically fills the entire canvas with that image. And it doesn't really matter. The image could be too big, and it would shrink it down. Or if it's too small, it'll kind of expand it a little bit. So now my layer is filling that entire canvas. I'll go ahead and click Apply to apply that transformation. And now the last step is blending this layer with the layer below. So I'll go into the Layers panel, I'll select the Blending dropdown, and I'm going to choose Multiply. Darken might work as well, but you can see it's kind of overexposing some of the portions of that paper. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with Multiply. Let me toggle this layer on and off. It's adding a very subtle effect to the actual image itself. Some of that is just because of the coloring in the paper, but it really kind of helps add to the whole effect of the paper, because if I actually created this on this paper, then the image would be a little bit more yellow. Uh, so that's it. That's how you add a paper effect to an image that has a nice kind of a white background. And by the way, if you'd like to learn how I created this double exposure, you can find it in The Mask, an ebook and video product all about masking and blending in On One Layers. Go to mask.nicolzy.com for more information.